Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. So hello parents and Micro Machine Collectors, it's your good pal Oz and today we're going to be reviewing the Micro Machines Super Van City. That's right, Micro Machines are back. It's been uh, roughly 20 years since they were last around but we got them back again and we're privileged enough to um, be able to review them for you. And if you don't know what Micro Machines are, I better quickly give you a rundown. Uh, I'll show you my, uh, my, my, my playset I reviewed the other day. Oh la la! All the cars! So, <laughs> these are what micro machines are. They're like very kind of little, usually very high quality kind of vehicles. Um, and yeah, in this case we've got a big city. Here's like a, a fancy like racing car one. Very nice. Um, but yeah, we've got some of these to review and we've got the, the, the super van city uh, to test them all out in which is from what I understand let me get these out of the way I gotta stop showing off my rad collection uh, it's basically a van as you can see there and it opens up to make a city which is like a big play set for all your micro machines to drive around in I think that's basically the gist of it so before I pop it open, let's look at the box, see if there's anything amazing to see here. Uh, this looks like it goes through all the different features of this playset, but I won't do it on the box. We'll do this in person when actually looking at the playset. It'll be far more useful. Uh, but for now, let's get the box open and get this set out. Now, uh, we've got it open, basically. Uh, it's not totally out. But base, inside the box, there was this, like as it is right now, still with like the packaging, um, like cable ties and stuff like that on there. There's a box here with, which looks like instructions and stickers, which I'll quickly open this up. There we go. Now for a bit of context, just so you know what we're looking at and like how much, what, like what the value of this is. Uh, it is roughly $69 at the moment at Target, uh, but that will change of course over time. Uh, it's still a very new toy now, I think it only just came out like a month ago. Um, so yeah, when you're looking at it, keep in mind it's a $69 toy and not like a $2,000 toy or anything like that. It just sometimes helps to know the price of the item to know the value of it. So yeah, these are stickers. Uh, very cool. We'll put them on as we open things up. Uh, what is this? This looks like it's just maybe like a checklist or a flyer for all the different types of micro machines. Yes, it is. Uh, what is this? Instructions. I don't want to look at that unless we have to. Um, Another checklist, another instructions, maybe languages, maybe different languages, I'm not sure. But let's uh, open this up. Just gotta cut very carefully. I don't want to slice my fingers. Oh, there we go. Now that should just pop off. There we are. Okay, and now the back. This, um, ah, I won't probably, I shouldn't say this until I've got it fully unpackaged, but this feels solid feels nice so look the car we'll, we'll look at the car before we open it up so uh yeah the wheel spin it feels like i was saying before very heavy and solid like i don't know like uh not cheap and junky but that's probably because there's a whole city packed inside this that's probably why it's so heavy now up the top here there's some bull bars do they do anything no, not not that I can see now. Uh, are there lights or anything like that? That looks like there's meant to be some sort of lights in there. I'm just looking for a switch or a button. Uh, nope, what's that do? Nothing. There's a cool ladder going up the side. Lots of, yeah, lots of details on this van, uh, which is cool. And now I notice there's a shovel attached to the side. Can we get that off? Or is that just a display shovel, <laughs> as, as you'd say? <laughs> I haven't seen many display shovels before, but yeah, it's not going anywhere, so I think it is just a display shovel. Now, how do we get this thing open? I see a handle, so there's a handle on the top there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go, a nice handle. Now, easy, it's, again, it's very solid and sturdy feeling handle. It's not going anywhere. Hey, look, we have found a secret. So, the bonnet opens up. So let's check that out. Okay, cool, we can open it quite a lot. Now, maybe this is the first part of uh, transforming it. So, bonnet opened up. <laughs> the, the, the front, what would you call that, the bumper? Yeah, the bumper bar goes down. Uh, 
Uh, again, there probably is instructions explaining how to do this. Now, I've just discovered that this is a button. Is that a button? Oh, these are both buttons. Okay, they're well, well camouflaged. Now, we'll put that down. Okay, it's looking more like a city now. Uh, these ones, these ones are not buttons, so it's just, it's fully just one side as a button. Okay, and then the back. There we go. Now, this is the first time this has been opened up. It's pretty huge. I might have to move my camera back a little bit just to get it all in. And it looks like we got some assembling to do. Uh, so let's see what this is. So, it doesn't look too hard, not too complicated. I can see there's a lot of room for stickers to go. Like lots of blank looking walls, but we'll need stickers. Yeah. Hey, a big um, thank you for the to the people at uh, Big Balloon for sending this too. I should always give them a, a shout out because I'm very grateful to have this to review. Um, what is that? Did I drop something there? Nope. Okay. Now we might. Oh, it comes with the car. Check there. So in case you got this set before you got any micro machine vehicles, it does come with a car. Now um, what I'll do, it does look easy, but I don't want to be fumbling around trying to work this out while you're watching me thinking, what a dangus, why is he taking so long to assemble this? I'll quickly uh, pause the video and uh, check out the instructions. All done! Now the stickers are all put on and everything suddenly looking more alive like the, uh, the the airport now has like a little terminal at the top and there's some windows where you can see all the people coming and going. The office has windows now where you can look through the windows and see all the little office men. Uh, the, there's like kind of little signs at the entrance of the office. The speedway now has big speedway signs. There's like lights now, like traffic lights and like speed timer uh, kind of signs. There's a convenience store at the back of the uh, car wash. The car wash now has like car wash sponges and mops and all those kind of flappy <laughs> car wash soap things. Uh, and even like the, the, the dirt track has dirt and like puddles and stuff now. So suddenly having these stickers has made it all seem a lot more alive in a lot more detailed, which is awesome. So I think from here, what we'll end up doing is uh, going through every different little area bit by bit, just to kind of show you what you can do with this set. I'm just giving it a, a spin. I've got very limited space, so I'm doing it slowly. But uh, just to give you a big kind of tour of everything. But uh, what I'll do, I'll take the camera off the stand and we'll look up at, at, at everything up close. So let's start at the raceway. Here we have it looking pretty awesome. Here are those lights I mentioned earlier, the sticker lights. You could put them on either side, but I kind of thought we'd see them more often if they're over the, on that side. Uh, there's stickers down there now. Oh, well, how do I get to see those stickers? Stickers there now. Stickers on the other side. And now see this, this is kind of like a, a launch area. We'll get two vehicles. My Lamborghini Contage from the 80s. And also, oh no, that's a car from the 80s. We want something more modern. Okay, we'll, we'll do a, well, we'll do a race here. There we go. Now, uh, let's launch them. So there's a button here to launch them. Three, two, one. They're going to go straight into the uh, airport, by the way. Three, two, one. Uh, yes! Okay, nice. Let's try that again. So you pull this back, let it click, and then we'll put them up there. So, three, two, one. Maybe I push it instead of just uh, pushing it down, I push it across. Three, two, one. Ah, that's way better. Okay. I hadn't lined this guy up properly, but I think the Lamborghini Contage is the best. I just love saying Contage. Uh, <laughs> now here we have the airport. There's not much interactivity at the airport besides this being a cool airport. You drive through it, there's a helicopter pad there. Maybe there's a Micro Machines helicopter at some stage? I'm not sure, but uh, the cars can go into the car park. Oh, my Lamborghini has crashed. Very steep hill here. But, well, he's crashed too. <laughs> it's hard doing it with one hand. Okay, now let's move over to the bridge. So this is a, it's got a boom gate, of course, like we saw before. Oh, and I did not stick it down hard enough. There we go, now it's not gonna come down. So lift it up, and we can now open up the drawbridge, both sides, 
looking very cool and put them back down again and of course when you well not of course but when you pack this up too you you that you raise a drawbridge just to uh, make it stow away better now here he goes wow <laughs> for some reason i was expecting him to turn okay anyway there's the drawbridge it's looking very cool uh, you can go underneath too of course now here we have the car wash now let's test this out with our fan fancy fancy kind of race car here now uh, you can put him on there and once he's on the tracks there, you just slowly drive him through the car wash. Very cool. Now out you get. And then on the other side of the car wash is, I'll spin the whole thing around. And there we go there, there's a convenience shop there, which is very nice. Um, okay, now moving over, actually we'll do this while the camera's like this. We've got this kind of little racetrack there. I've got the beat up old, <laughs> old 80s vehicle there, which got colored in um, now this is a construction site and there's a crane here and I think I've placed the crane backwards let's quickly do that again because I saw on the um, instructions that this crane is meant to let's try it bash things there we go but it's meant to like bash the other way so maybe if we if we turn him so he's like that Let's try it. There's a lot of ways you can do this, so this is just kind of the way I've found it. Uh, no, he's bashing the wrong way. Oh, you get the gist. There is a way, if I could do this properly with two hands, I could probably get in the right way. But yeah, that spins around and is meant to knock these down. But you can always just do it manually without like relying on the, on the uh, mechanism there to spin it. Okay, so that's a construction site. There's ramps here to this office building. Now this office building actually has a lot to it, so I'll quickly show you. Uh, that ramp kind of goes up and folds up, and that comes off, and then that could go down. So when you do pack this away, it goes down like that. And also, for some reason, it lifts off. How cool is that? I don't know why, but it's very cool. Um, now, and also just to make it go up again, Easy peasy, so you can have it at that height if you want, or make it go all the way up, which I'm doing just because it looks cooler, uh, right up to the top there. And then again, just fold these out and down, watch out, construction crane, and that's that there. And then the other one is there. Now, apparently, there's like a bank high still. Oh, sorry, the bad uh, cameraman ship now <laughs> cameraman ship i don't think that's a word um, but yeah there's also meant to be certain bank heist stories and things like that what you use this for and uh it, it explains that in the instructions how you can use this for a bank heist which is cool uh now what else we've got the uh what is down here it's a little car wrecking repair shop i'll spin it around a bit and also you can see there's this kind of dirt tower here like a construction mining area maybe and if we get a car which isn't a big truck, you'll see that you can, again, forgive the, the shaky cameraman camera work. There we go. That goes all the way up there. There's a, like a little stop there and then it goes down. Whoa, okay, I never actually practiced that. <laughs> he goes down there. I'll spin it around so you can see better angles. And out that hole there which is very cool. Then we've got this kind of dirt track here for like off-road vehicles, very nice. And my favorite place in all of Supervan City is Tubies, uh, created back in 2019. Now this whole set, I have not mentioned this yet. This is a remake, like I think identical remake to the old um, 80s version of the Supervan City. So I think just the stickers have been updated, but nothing else. Um, so that's probably why it says Tubies 2019. The original one, one wouldn't have done that. Now one quick thing I want to show you while I've got the camera all loose is that the joins or the hinges here are proper metal hinges. I think you can see a little hint of the metal in there, uh, which is good. It kind of means that this is not going to snap and break. And it also means it kind of opens and closes more smoothly, which is cool. So there we have it. It's, I'm pretty sure we've gone through all the features of the Supervan City, but there's one more thing. One more thing. There is, it, it just doesn't stop with this set. <laughs> I'm just trying to reach. Forgive me for knocking everything. Uh, but now, these are what you get if you buy some of the, the car sets, some of the bigger ones. Oh, actually, here we go. Here's the... Uh, <laughs> I'm knocking everything. Uh, I hope that doesn't uh, make crazy sounds on the camera. But uh, when you buy sets like this, you, uh, you can see the background there. 
there's like a bit of a building like this one so these are made to connect to the supervan city so the supervan city comes with all these extra kind of roads and bridges uh, and hubs like this one and you connect them all together uh, through that so you can just extend the city further with the more and more sets you have you can connect these to the city and uh, just make the place it even bigger if you wanted to uh, you can there's, there's a few connecting places but nothing I can actually reach right now actually they're all on the other side hold on let's spin it around I'll quickly demonstrate the uh, connecting so there's one there so you can connect it there I don't know if you can see man I'm <laughs> destroying the city uh, so yeah you can connect it there there's another one here there is a few around these are only two I've explored so far but yeah there's lots of different ways you can connect all these different little building sets to the supervan city just to make it bigger and bigger and keep going and going which is great so guys I, I apologize if this was a really long video there was a lot to cover in this set and um, to put it away too it's not too bad you just uh, of course take off the vehicles there's a few bridges not all of them but some of them need to be taken away maybe no that would be all right you can fold up that uh, I'll see if we can leave the lights and actually we'll quickly demonstrate before we go I just want to see how much we have to disassemble it uh, I think we'll, we'll put everything inside the the drawbridge we'll do a quick test to see how easy this is gonna be crush down there oh, we got to fold up there so this would be awesome I love how this does um, pack away because you could like put all your micro machines in it fold it up Take it to grandma's house or I don't know wherever you're going for the day if you're having a, a weekend away somewhere you can just take this one set to cover air oh oh okay we need that down you can just take this one set with you and then that would like have all the toys kind of inside okay so far uh, we haven't had to do everything just some things if I can keep those lights on I'll be impressed but I don't think it's gonna happen I haven't even removed the cars too <laughs> we're kind of kind of crushing cars as we go uh, that we need to come off okay now okay that's falling off it, it is so easy just to pop these off I might as well just do it there we go throw them into the drawbridge here we go now this has like over 20 years of testing and refinement so it's probably going to be quite good now why does that not close up I think I've done the order wrong maybe hold on there are instructions on how to pack it up I'm just trying to fudge it I'll quickly check okay like always I didn't actually look at the instructions I just kind of played for a second longer and then I worked it out you've got to like push it together first and then down oh lots of ramps still connected I think that one folds in there we go okay we're almost there like I said I'm doing this the roughest quickest way possible just to see what we can get away with in terms of not doing it properly because <laughs> I, I just know the way I, I live my life is I, I kind of would like to be able to pack this up the bare minimum as we go now we're looking pretty good there are little things in the way but it's probably all these cars <laughs> I have at the bottom okay hold on we'll take the cars out we're making this too hard for ourselves okay this much easier without all the cars blocking it and then we do that there looking easy now now we got a little line things up okay there's one thing I believe jamming it it's just squeeze ah there we go okay so that wasn't that wasn't too bad now again just know that I didn't follow any instructions with that and I took out the bare minimum of uh, vehicles and accessories and buildings and it's still closed up look at that very cool so back in super van mode ready to go got our handle let's go to grandma's <laughs> there we have the super van city now um guys if you like this video and you like micro machines give us a big micro thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already subscribed um and guys until i see you next oh let me know in the comments below too i almost forget uh, let me know in the comments below if you've got any micro machines or if you're happy to see them back if you think you're going to get some because I myself am very excited that these are back and I want to hear your thoughts about it. Most of you may not have been around 
uh, while they were while they were originally here, like uh, before the year 2000. But still, I want to know what you think. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but guys, until I see you next time, have a great week, take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time.